Let me get our recording all set. Okay, cool. Take a seat on your mat. You can find, find your comfort space. And as you find your seat, we're gonna just work on grounding this morning. So as you get comfortable, you can set your hands on your thighs and close your eyes down. And then this morning, I want you to think about your spine and take your spine up from your head and trace your spine with your mental awareness all the way slowly down your back, getting to your mid back and your lower back down to your tailbone. And then imagine if from your tailbone, you had a tree root. And think about that tree root extending from you through your floorboards, through your basement, through your foundation, down into the earth, and imagine that tree root extending all the way down to the center of the earth and grounding you firmly with the earth. And then we'll invite in the mantra today, so hum, I am. And so just allow yourself to feel grounded, supported by the earth, and to just be on your mat. Nowhere to go, nothing to do, but just to be. To feel grounded and to just breathe in, I am so hum. And bring our hands into heart center and we'll just begin linking breath with movement. So with your palms together, inhale your palms up overhead. Exhale, open wide to a T. Inhale, extend the arms long in front, fingertips touch. Exhale, bend the elbows, hands back to heart. As we do another couple rounds of this, I want you to think about slowing down your breath and consciously slowing down your movement to exactly match your breath. So inhale. Exhale, T. Inhale, arms in front, fingertips touch. Exhale, bend at the elbows to the heart. Last one, totally on your own, own pace. Let your arms float down to your thighs. As we bow forward for cobra in a basket, going around first in a clockwise direction. Breath and movement, inhale on your way back. Exhale as you come forward, beginning to just wake up this spine. And then rotate in the opposite direction. Counterclockwise, inhaling back. Exhaling forward. Beautiful. And come back up to center. Right ear to right shoulder, left fingertips on your mat. You can bring your right fingertips up to the crown of your head if you like. Breathing here. One more slow breath. 
Let's trade that out to the opposite side, right fingertips down, left ear to left shoulder. Sitting up nice and tall. And coming back up to center, chin towards the chest. And let's begin making circles with our head around the back. Chin coming down towards the chest. And then reverse those head circles. And coming back up to center. We'll take our legs long in front of us this morning. So if you'd like to keep your hips elevated, you can. And we'll begin with some basic hands on either side of the hips so that our palms are rooting into the ground, shoulders back and down. Legs are active as the toes are flexed. And we'll point and flex. Point and flex. Do that a few times on your own here, waking up the ankles. And then let's begin rolling the ankles in one direction with the circle. So both of your feet are together. I'll see if I scoot back a little bit and might get more on the camera. There we go. So we're gonna roll our ankles around in one direction and then let's roll them the opposite. And then find stillness, both feet are flexed. Again, shoulders are back and down. We're sitting up nice and straight. And then let's wrap, wrap the toes so that the pinky toes try to reach each other. So inhale, flex, exhale, wrap. And try that a couple times. Nice. Then we'll bring our right knee in towards our chest and we're gonna lift that right leg up so that the calf is parallel to our mat. We're holding on to the arch of our foot. Our right knee can be on the inside of that right elbow. And gently begin to rock your hip from side to side, kind of cradling, cradling your leg, opening up the hip joint this morning. Rocking back and forth, and then let's come back to stillness. And we'll set that foot down on the outside of the left leg, wrapping our left arm around. Right arm comes out at shoulder height, wrap it behind you as a kickstand, gaze over your right shoulder. Keep your left foot nice and active. Beautiful, then come back to center. We'll lengthen the right leg, inhale the arms up overhead, slowly begin to forward fold. Be gentle with yourself, let your arms float down, whether they're at your knees, your shins, your ankles, your toes. We haven't done much stretching yet, so you might be rather tight still. But just pointing your nose in the direction of your knees and reaching forward with your fingertips. Maybe as you breathe here, you can creep your fingertips forward just a little bit more as your body begins to soften. Starting to elongate the lower back. Take one more slow breath here. Just gently stretching and coaxing your body to wake up. And then we'll slowly come back up to center, taking the left knee in towards our chest, lifting that foot, holding at the arch, cradling it in our left elbow as we go back and forth, opening up the left hip. And then we'll stop that, bring the foot on the outside as we wrap the right arm around, left arm comes out, rotates behind us in a kickstand, gaze over the left shoulder, right toes are flexed and active, sitting up nice and tall, take a long, slow breath here. We'll unwind and come back to center, take both legs long again, feet are flexed, Arms overhead, inhale, exhale, slowly begin to forward fold. Seeing if your fingertips perhaps come just a little bit closer towards your ankles or a little bit deeper into your bend wherever you are. Take one more nice slow breath here. And then begin to roll yourself up. We'll make our way 
into tabletop. Pad your knees if you like. And we'll begin with some cat cows. So if you're already there and you want to start your cat cows, go ahead. Inhale, looking up at the ceiling. And then exhale, rounding the back. We'll find your, your breath and movement here. Inhaling through. And then this time as you arch on your exhale, push yourself back with your legs closed to child's pose. And your forehead may not make it all the way down right now. Wherever it is, is fine. Just begin to elongate the back. So inhale up into all fours and through the cow. Exhale, round the back and push yourself back into child's pose. Let's do one more, inhaling through. Exhale, round and back. And then from where we, where we are today, just start to slowly bring yourself back up. So we're in hero's pose sitting on our knees. Let's curl our toes underneath and give ourselves a stretch of our arches. So shoulders back and down, sitting on top of your heels. Breathing here. Give yourself a moment. If it's too much, you know how to come out of it. You can sit back up. You can always uncurl your toes and take a break, but let's just take a moment here, stretching out the arches of our feet. And then coming forward on your hands, you can uncurl and sit back again on your heels. And let's stretch out our arms first while we're here. I'll face you. We're gonna take our right arm over our head, bending at the elbow. Left arm comes out to the side, comes behind us so that our fingertips are touching behind us. Let's just breathe into this. And if you like that calf stretch or that um, arch stretch, you can always curl your toes and come back into it while you're into this arm movement or stay on the flat feet, whatever you prefer. Just breathing here, stretching out both of your arms and your shoulders. Take a slow breath and let's undo our arms here. Let them come down and then left arm goes overhead and then bending the left elbow so that the palm is at the base of the neck. Right arm comes out to the side as we bend it behind us. And so this, on this side, your fingertips may not touch. It may look different on each side. Wherever you are, just breathe. And then we'll take our arms out into a T and let them float down. Going into rabbit pose next. So in rabbit, we'll take our hands, we'll place them on holding our ankles. Forehead begins to come down to the mat. And then as we gently begin to lift up our hips, coming onto the crown of our head, we're still holding on to our ankles. So this is one of those poses where you get the benefit of a headstand with obviously much less uh, strenuous pose to get into. So take a couple of nice slow breaths here in this inversion rabbit pose. And as you're ready, we'll slowly begin to lower the hips, bringing them all the way back down to the heels, bring the hands out in front, coming back into all fours, inhaling through to cow, exhale, rounding the back, cat, pushing back into child's pose again. So inhale up into cow, exhale, rounding cat, back to child's pose. And one more of that full sequence through, inhale up, exhale round, push yourself back. Beautiful, we'll curl our toes under and we're gonna push ourselves up into downward facing dog. So begin pedaling out your dog here, bending one knee, straightening the other.
And now lower both of your heels down, belly reaching towards the thighs. Let your head hang heavy. We'll inhale forward into plank. And then exhale, push yourself back up, down dog. Again. And exhale. And last one. Walk your feet to the top of your mat. We'll meet in a standing forward fold. Let your head be heavy. Hands come on the shins as we inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Two more, inhale. And exhale. Last one. Micro bend your knees, hands on either side. Inhale yourself all the way up, reverse swan dive. Fingertips come to touch over the head, hands come into the heart. Going into some moon salutations this morning. So first let's have our feet hips width apart, grounding into all four corners of the feet. Let's lift up all of our toes and slowly lower down the pinkies, all the way down to the big toes and feel grounded with your posture. Shoulders are back and down, gaze is forward, hands are at heart center. Going into some moon salutations. Inhale, arms overhead, palms stay together. Exhale, hands through heart center, forward fold. Coming down into a squat, so lowering your hips. If you're feeling it, if you're balanced, you can keep your hands at heart center. Inhale here and exhale. Hands come down on either side, left knee comes back. Inhale, arms overhead, exhale, sweep down and back up, right knee meets it on the mat, slight back bend. Inhale here, exhale, float all the way down to child's pose. Inhale, come through into low cobra, tops of the feet push into the mat, hands on either side as you inhale yourself up. Curl your toes under, exhale, back to child's pose. Up on both knees, inhale, arms overhead. Left leg forward, exhale, sweep the arms down and back up. Curl the right toes, step forward, back down into your squat, hands at heart center. Pausing here, take a big inhale. Exhale, lift your hips, forward fold. Hands rise up through the center, over the head, back bend, and back to the heart. Beautiful. That's one side. Let's do the other. Inhale overhead. Exhale through heart center, forward fold. Bending the knees, coming down into a squat. Finding your balance, hands at prayer center. Inhale here. Hands on either side. Exhale, step the right knee back. Sweep the arms up overhead and sweep them down and back up. Left leg meets it. Slight back bend, inhale here. Exhale, float down to child's pose. Inhale through low cobra. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, rise up on both knees, arms overhead. Step their right leg forward, sweep down and back up. Curl the left toes, step forward, find your squat. Hands at prayer center, inhale here. Exhale, lift your hips, fold forward. Hands come up through the heart as we rise, slight back bend. Hands back to prayer center. Close the eyes down and just feel rooted and grounded here. So hum. I am. And we'll do one more on each side. I'm going a little bit faster this time. Take a nice inhale and exhale. Inhale, arms overhead through the heart, forward fold. 
coming down into squat. Inhale here. Hands on either side. Step the left leg back, sweep arms up and down and back up. Right knee joins, slight back bend. Exhale forward to child's pose. Inhale to cobra. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale up on both knees, arms overhead. Step the left knee forward, sweep down and back up. Step the right leg forward, coming to your squat. Pause here, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Hands together through heart center, rise. Arms overhead, back to heart center. Pause here and take a breath. Other side, inhale overhead. Exhale through heart center. Coming down into your squat, inhale here. Set the arms down, right leg back. Sweep the arms overhead and down and back up, left knee joins. Inhale, exhale down to child's pose. Forward into cobra. Exhale back to child's pose. Up on both knees, arms overhead. Stepping the right leg forward, arms down and back up. Curl the left toes, step back into your squat. Hands at the heart, inhale here. Exhale, lift the hips, forward fold. Hands come up through the heart, slight back bend. And now back at the heart. Let's let both hands come down on either side, roll the shoulders back and down. Keep the crown of the head lifted and close the eyes down, mountain pose. Take a couple of nice, long, slow breaths here. Oh, and just enjoy just that calm of your body from the moon salutations. Coming back to that mantra again, so hum, I am. Let's inhale our arms up overhead. Exhale, sitting down and finding chair pose. So we should be able to see our toes. Inhale here, exhale arms behind. Inhale up and behind. Up and behind. One more, up and behind and forward fold. Let your head be heavy here. Take opposite elbows, maybe sway from side to side. And let your hands come back down to the mat. Place your hands on your shins and just trace them up as you come all the way back up to standing. Roll the shoulders back and down. And then we'll inhale our arms up overhead Exhale, seat one more time as we come into chair pose, fingertips touch, hands into heart center. Now we're gonna rotate over to the right, hooking our left elbow on the outside of our right knee, finding our twist here and breathing. And then coming back to center and twisting to the opposite direction. And breathe. Back to center and fold. And then slowly begin to lower yourself down to your mat. As we come down to our mat, first we're gonna have both of our feet rooted. Our hands are gonna come out on either side. Um, and then let's actually tuck our hands underneath the back of our knees, raising up your shins so that your shins are even um, and parallel with your mat. Going into boat pose. So you can stay here holding on, or if you'd like to bring your hands out to the side. And let's do five, four, three, two, one. Set your feet down and you can rock yourself forward. And let's take a break. And the next one that we'll do, you can do the same thing we just did, or if you'd like to extend your legs out, I'm gonna make it a little bit more difficult, you could do that as well. So slightly lean back, engage your core, both feet come up, hands behind. 
the knees, hands can come out to the side. You can hold here, or if you'd like to extend the legs and hold, and let's do five, four, three, two, one. Knees come back in, feet back down to the mat. Well done. Hands on either side, palms facing up. Just slowly lower yourself all the way down onto your mat. Let's take our feet wide on our mat. Hands on either side with our palms facing up and our knees are just resting on each other in the center to windshield wiper. So we'll drop them over to the left. And just feel that left shoulder grounded and that stretch all the way through the left side body. You should feel it really nicely through your quad and out your knee, coming back to center. And let's drop both of those knees over the opposite side, the left, and feeling that stretch on the right side. Back to center, opposite. And center and over to the left. Coming back to center. So as not to neglect the hips before we close, let's take a figure four. So our left foot's on the mat. We're crossing the right leg over, threading your hands around the left thigh as you lift that foot up off the mat. Both feet are flexed and active. Just as we've done, you can always have stillness in this figure four if you like that rocking motion. Feel free to take that. Both feet flexed and active. If you're feeling comfortable, you can just pull that left leg a little bit closer towards you. Maybe you'll use your right elbow for a little resistance. Breathing into the right hip. Let's take two more long, slow breaths here. And then slowly lower that foot down, uncross, and let's do the other side, rooting on the right foot, crossing the left leg over, wrapping our hands this time around the right thigh. Stillness or rocking, both feet flexed and active. Opening up the left hip. Okay, coming back to center. Let's bring the right foot down, left meets it. Lifting up your hips, take your hands, and if you, if you imagine your hands being in a triangle, so if you lift them up above you on the ceiling first, you can see like connecting your thumb and your pointer um, fingers, you can make that triangle with your hands. We're gonna make that shape at our sacrum. So as you lift up your sacrum, you can set, make that same shape to just set your hips on top of your hands like that and bring your knees in towards your chest. You might have to adjust your hands as you, as you get here. And then we'll begin to just lift our legs up towards the ceiling. So adjust your hands. If that shape is not comfortable, find a shape that is. Soles of the feet are towards the ceiling. And so let's just take a moment here and a modified legs up the wall. Just let the blood flow reverse. Enjoy this restorative posture for a moment. And take a few slow breaths. You can stay here as long as you like, and whenever you're ready, you can just lower your knees. Pull the feet, come back to the mat as you lift your hips. Set your hips back down and then just elongate into Shavasana. Flipping the hands so both palms are facing up. Lifting a little bit the upper back so that the shoulder blades can reach towards each other and open up your collarbone. Let the ankles fall out to the sides. Open your mouth really wide and then relax. And again, really wide and relax. Softening the muscles in your face and your neck.
releasing any tension in your chest and your collarbone, softening your upper arms and your elbows, forearms, wrists, palms, fingertips. Take a big breath in. On your exhale, soften the chest, ribs, belly, hips, Tracing down to the thighs, backs of the knees, calves, ankles, soles of the feet, toes. So, um, I am. Begin to gently dust the tips of your fingers with your thumbs and wiggle your toes. We'll inhale our arms up overhead. You can reach long with one arm and then the other. Rolling onto your right side. Let's pause for a moment, giving yourself gratitude for making time for self-care. And then as you're ready, we'll meet back in our seated position, closing practice with a cleansing breath and an omen three shantis. So cleansing breath first, inhale through the nose. Exhale, mouth. Inhale to chant. Oh. Shanti, Shanti. Shanti. May we all have peace in our hearts, peace in our words, and peace in our thoughts. Have a beautiful day. Thanks for coming. Namaste. Hey, thanks, Julia, Stacy, Jen, and Jeanette. I hope you guys have a great day today. Thank you. You too. That was wonderful. Oh, thank you. I like to I like to get a class in in 30 minutes, right? It's <laughs> great. This is perfect. Awesome. I'm so glad. Thanks for coming. Of course. I'll see you soon. Thank nice you. And you know what? Everybody. I wanted to tell you while yeah. we were doing the moon salutation and I did the cobra. I'm in my basement. Uh -huh. We did the cobra. I looked up and I saw the moon through the window. It was so great. <laughs> oh, is that so fabulous? I love that. I'm so you guys know I'm such a fan of the moon salutation. I just think it's very healing. So, yeah, you got to see the moon today. Love it. I hope you guys have an awesome day. You too, Kate. I'll have see you soon. One. Okay. Bye. Bye.